I can't single one thing out. There was a range of different things that showed the culture and the practices for employees at Sports Direct. So not being paid the legal minimum wage, um, being named and shamed over the tannoy in front of the entire warehouse, um, not being able to take time off when your child is sick and off school, um, having a six strikes and you're out policy so that if you do something that you can't appeal against, whether it's going for a glass of water off shift or whether it's taking too long to go to the toilet, um, women being told you can have a permanent contract in exchange for sexual favours. I mean, these are disgraceful practices that we heard. We were shocked and disgusted. Now, Mike Ashley said that uh, when he found out about some of the things that were going on at the Shirebrook Distribution Centre, it was an unpleasant surprise. Did you find that a credible response, that he didn't know what was going on? No, we didn't. We found that quite an incredible response. Uh, Mike Ashley founded the company it's made in his image um, and he's very hands-on you know he has a, a desk in the warehouse and goes there at least once a week we can't believe that he wasn't aware of the practices that were going on but having said that where we do accept his evidence um, and we thought that he was very strong on this is the company's grown far too big for him to handle it's still been run as a, almost like a sole trader operation a one-man band with Mike Ashley fully in charge. That's not acceptable for such a large, complex and listed company. And so we think there should be an independent corporate governance review to make sure that the next phase of Sports Direct's life actually has the governance arrangements in place. We think that Mike Ashley, as the founder and as the majority shareholder of Sports Direct, who is seen as very much the face and the image of Sports Direct, should be held directly accountable for those failings in working practices. It's the country's largest sports retailer with hundreds of stores and thousands of workers. Today's report is critical of how they are treated. It found what it calls a disturbing picture of the working practices at Sports Direct. That includes workers who'd been paid below the national minimum wage, staff being penalised for taking a short break to drink water or being off sick and repeated ambulance calls from staff including one case where a woman gave birth in the toilet. We found the culture and practices for employers absolutely disgraceful, more akin to a Victorian workhouse than to what we would see in a retailer in 2016. Have you created a culture of fear? Definitely not. Last month, the company's boss, Mike Ashley, was called to give evidence to MPs. But if I may start uh, with the review that you announced six months ago, What's the current status of the review? Work in progress. When will it be completed? Never. He went on to accept some work practices needed to change. If you were a minute late, you got docked 15 minutes pay. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. This recent BBC documentary exposed a culture of fear at the company's warehouse. Stuart Young was a security guard there. It feels like something out of Dickens, the way it's run, finding urine in bottles in the warehouse because they've been told they can't go to the toilet unless it's their break time. For Sports Direct and its boss Mike Ashley, the revelations from that documentary and today's report are difficult to accept. The company said in a statement today that it treats all its workers with dignity and respect. More of a workhouse than a warehouse is how some describe the company's headquarters in Derbyshire. Many of those employed by Sports Direct are temporary agency workers and vulnerable employees. Trade unions are concerned that this isn't an isolated case, with many more facing exploitation in the workplace. Helena Lee, BBC News. Do you think your company has outgrown your ability to manage it? Probably, a long time ago.
I didn't build, build Sports Direct, Sports Direct built me. You understand, it, it, it's like having going out one day and you've got a, a, a tiny little inflatable and you're in control and the next wake up one morning and you're an oil tanker. I've got nothing to hide. Come on, will you find it 100% perfect? Of course you won't. You will find things out that I obviously don't know are going on or happening. What we had um, there was if you were a minute late, you got dot 15 minutes pay. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. The process is, is now in place so that genuinely shouldn't happen because they have the capacity now to literally, it, it, it's 10 times the size. So, it, you, you know, unless we grow by 10 times again, we shouldn't ever in, uh, experience the same bottleneck problems. I, I, I'm not Father Christmas. I'm not sitting there at a whole, I'm going to make the world wonderful. You just have to try and get a balanced view and say, as an individual, would you tolerate that? If, 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 if it is executed correctly, yeah, if, if there's not abuse of it, if it's actually reasonable, the six strikes, then it's okay. You have to have some kind of system.